Well, hello, <clears throat> and welcome once again to our live program. Uh, good to see you wherever you are going to tune in from around the world. God bless you. Uh, we are, in fact, live here on Facebook and on YouTube as well. So uh, as you join me here today, do uh, type a quick hello and let me know where you are tuning in from today. Uh, that would be great. Love to know that, whether on YouTube or you're on Facebook. So God bless you. And uh, I'm coming to you from the parking ride. <laughs> Very auspicious location. <laughs> yes, welcome to the park and ride. Uh, good to see you. Jeanette Deans. Hello to you, Jeanette. I can see you there. There she is. Look, Jeanette Deans saying hello. So God bless you, Jeanette. And thank you for joining uh, on the program. Not, don't forget, if you're just tuning in, share the program and also uh, type a quick hello and let me know where you are. I don't need this hat on while I'm sat in the car. Where you are tuning, tuning in from uh, here today. That would be great. Love to know where you are. And um, let's have a look. So, got Jeanette there. Others are joining us here. Again, say hello as soon as you get on the program. Share the broadcast. And uh, that would be really, really, really good. Good to do that. Uh, Paul Diamond. Hello, Paul. Good to see Paul. And Sue Evans as well, look, in sunny deal. Well, I'm glad you got the sun today, Sue. It's not very sunny in Cambridge. Um, I'm actually sat at the parking ride at the moment in Trumpington. So very auspicious location. <laughs> um, well, there's a bit of space here and uh, it's a bit crazy at the moment with cars everywhere in Cambridge. So uh, I thought, I know, I'll try the far side of the park and ride and so here we are hannah mar van canton there in netherlands god bless you and welcome also of course to say if any of you are local you could come and join me here at the park and ride i know paul is why don't you come to the park and ride and say hello paul <laughs> you could do you know there he is look paul diamond look on the screen now sue evans in deal there you go and hannah mar in the netherlands so god bless you well haven't been on for a while, as you're probably aware, um, various reasons for that. But I've been having a lot of trouble from Facebook, I'll be honest. And um, so I'm broadcasting to you today through StreamYard. So it's on Facebook it's also because Paul is watching on uh, YouTube. And uh, so what it does, it emails YouTube viewers to say that I'm coming on. I may be switching all of my broadcasting over to YouTube because Facebook has been such a pain recently um, and been so awkward and won't connect and stuff like that. It's beyond belief, you know. And so I may just dump Facebook completely and um, move on to different platforms because I'm getting fed up with them, to be honest. So uh, there we are. But anyway. Great to see you all, and uh, glad you could join. Andrew May as well, Red Hill, Surrey. Andrew, bless you, and welcome to the program as well. Nice to see you, Andrew. There he is. Look, Andrew May in Red Hill, Surrey. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, bit of an impromptu program. There's been no advertising to say I'm coming on or anything else like that. Um, I thought I'd just turn it on, and we'll see how many of us can gather here together and have a time of prayer in a moment, perhaps. You know, I want to encourage you today as you watch this program that the Lord is is faithful to his promises. That's why I love the word of God, because, you see, the word of God is solid and you can trust what it says in God's word. Now, your circumstances um, may be difficult, problematic. Um, I understand those types of things. You know, I've, I've fought through many battles with family, with relatives. Uh, with sicknesses, problems like this, you know what I mean, uh, many, many times. <clears throat> but what I've learned over, you know, 35 years is that I've, I've, I've actively been involved in Christian ministry and stuff like that, is that God is faithful. And as we keep on keeping on, as we keep going, we will find that God is faithful. So that's one of the things I've learned. Um, I know that God answers prayer. I, you know, I could sit here for weeks telling you about answered prayer because I've seen so many prayers that God has answered. I've seen so many miracles. I mean, has every prayer I've ever prayed that I know of been, well, have I seen an answer to every like healing prayer, for example? No, I don't think I have. But I mean, I prayed for somebody last night and God touched them. 
Um, uh, I prayed for a lady in the street uh, the other day and she got touched her. She got healed. Um, it, there's all sorts of people and got to bring people across your path. I was down by the river yesterday. I think it was or the day, day before. No day before. And I saw a gentleman, he was fishing. And, uh, see what I do is I, I just say, Oh, any luck? Yeah. He caught anything, you know, that sort of thing. I'll just get into a conversation with people. But then it opens the door and the opportunity for you to minister and to pray to people. And I love that sort of thing. I love praying and being out and about, talking to people about Jesus, that sort of thing. But very often what I'll do is I will I will start with anything. So if they're sat fishing, for example, by the river, I'll talk about fishing. We might sit there for 20 minutes and talk about fishing or related subjects, you know, uh, things like this. Um. But then I'll begin to get into it. I see the message there from Sarah. She said, I've had a nervous breakdown at the end of last year and then returning to work. To oh, God bless you, Sarah. Um, come on, let's all just pray for Sarah right now. She's returning to work today. Well done, Sarah. Lord, we ask for your, your presence and your power and your love to just touch Sarah Towers right there on the south coast of England now in the name of jesus come on everybody just join with me right now let's pray for sarah just re just release your, a blessing over sarah speak love over her speak health and wellness and peace to sarah right now wherever you are around the world let's just bless our sister she goes back to work today after a nervous breakdown so thank you lord that you have brought sarah through this touch her right now in the name of jesus hallelujah Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Sarah. And I hope everything goes well at work today for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, um, good morning to Simone. She as well. So, as I was saying, you know, when you're out and about, when you're meeting people, um, evangelism is, is so incredibly amazing. When you take all the effort out of it. You know, some people are sort of they're sat in church terrified that somebody might ask them to go and do some evangelism. And they, you know, or, or they're just worried about those things. You know, evangelism to me, and I've been doing this a long time. Evangelism to me, uh, on a personal level, on a one to one level, it's just chatting with people. OK, to start with. Just talk to people, get a flavor of the person. Um, and then the spirit of God will prompt you or make a way for you as you start to do things. Good morning, Richard. I'll see Richard there as well. Richard Mosier. Hello, Richard. Good to see you. Kathy's listening as well. Excellent. Guys, welcome. Sorry I haven't been on much recently. I've been in a lot of trouble with Facebook. Um, they've been shadow banning me and stuff like this. You know, I go to do things that the buttons aren't even there. I haven't done anything wrong. It's just not working. Uh, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, so I find with evangelism, if, if you just go up to, you just talk to people, you might see somebody and say, well, that's a nice pair of shoes. Where did you get those? I really like those. I am not a pair myself. They look great on you or something. Like that. You know what I mean? Just anything, any excuse, any tenuous link. I mean, talk about tenuous link time. The sort of stuff I've ended up talking to people about and then praying for them is just unbelievable, really. But you'll be surprised that when you begin to talk to people, how the Holy Spirit will then give you an opportunity. You'll start saying, cool, I like your bike. That's a nice bicycle. Where did you get that? Oh, that's fantastic. And they'll go, yeah. And they go, cool, I've got a really bad back, though. And they'll just lead right into it. They'll talk about their bad back. You've been asking about their bike. You say, oh, really? How did you do that? And they go, oh, I did this. Well, that's funny. Actually, often I pray for people, actually. Oh, you know, you, you start to get into it. Say, so let me pray for you. God can touch your back. Oh, what? you know whatever the case may be depends on the person Some say, oh, i'll pray i'll say a prayer for your back if you like i've seen lots of answers to prayer and people go okay then nothing to lose i mean this guy i met down by the river the other day he was fishing he had no teeth in his head he's a young man and he's there fishing and i got chatting to him because it was quite cold actually he was sat in the shade a bit and i said to him you know i said you warm enough it's a bit chilly today and he said yeah i'm not too bad I said, you call anything? He said, no, not yet. He says, first time I've been fishing in seven years. I said, really? I said, well, where have you been then? And he said, I've been ill. He said, and he had two types of arthritis. Now they're talking about the fact he might have fibromyalgia. 
um, no teeth in his head, and he couldn't have been any more than 25, 30. He wasn't very old. And I said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, got talking all the rest of it. I said, look, I said, and I, 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 I said, can I pray for you? You've got nothing to lose. I said, we're seeing lots of answers to prayer, people getting healed. And he said, all right, then. And he's just standing by the river, this guy. And he goes, OK, don't assume that people will turn you down. Actually, a lot of people think, yeah, OK, then, because they think I've got nothing to lose. Go on, have a good do it. Have a go. Quite sort of thing. You understand what I'm saying? So don't be put off by that. And then be put off. At times I've heard people, at least in Britain, talking, they think that nobody is interested in God. I've heard this spoken time and time again. That is not my experience in England. And I've probably done a lot more of this stuff than most people. And I can tell you that people are very much interested in God. Carolyn from Milton Keynes. Hello, look, there's Carolyn there. Just put up on the screen. God bless you. So I don't think that people aren't interested in Jesus. They are interested in Jesus. They are interested in God. People are not interested in religion and heavy, you know, religious, heavy handed carping critics. You know, that's they're not interested in that. I don't blame them. But what they want to know that there's a God that loves them and they want to meet a people that are carrying the anointing of God, that when they pray, something happens. And this is why we need to get into the prayer closet. Good morning to Paul as well, up on the screen now. It's why we need to get in the prayer closet. It's why we need to walk with God so that we carry the anointing in the presence of the power of the Holy Spirit. That when you begin to talk to people about the Lord Jesus, that bang, that presence of God. That I just feel his presence has come right now in the car here now. As I'm talking to you about this, all of a sudden, the atmosphere all around me is changing. I can feel the presence, the tangible presence of God in the car right now, like that. And so when we walk with God like that, then when you go out to the zoo, I mean, I'm in the park and ride is where I am right now. The park and ride, right? Well, I'll tell you what, I could walk over to the bus depot over there and I could pray for somebody just like that. Just get into a conversation and say, cool, cold morning. Yeah, where are you going? Do you see what I mean? And I like that. Wiley. Hey, my brother Wiley. There he is. Look. Hey. Hello, Wiley. Good to see you, too. So, be co <clears throat> you know, now, Wiley, who's just I've just put his name up on the screen. I'll do it again, actually. Wiley and I, we've been out together doing evangelism before here in Cambridge. And um, and he'll testify to you the truth of that, that we you know get words of knowledge for people, pray for people and how people are interested in Jesus. And when you come with the love of God, you come with grace, you come with truth, you come with the power of God. I tell you what, there's a hungry world out there that's looking for answers. There's so many people sick. There's so many people worried. There's so many people in fear and they need hope. And Jesus is the hope that they need. Amen. So being confident in the gospel that you have in your heart to, to give that to people and just use your own words. You just tell people about Jesus in your own way. Maybe you could tell them about answers to prayer that you've seen for yourself, your family, your friends at your church. You know, maybe you could share some encouraging faith stories with people and then say, you know, and Jesus has come to set you free. You know, it, it, it's, it, it, it's as simple as that. It really is. The church, the body of Christ has overcomplicated this thing, something chronic. To the point where <clears throat> people have lost their confidence at times about going out and sharing their faith. I think we should have a lot more soul winning classes in church uh, and things like that. And a lot less of some of the other stuff that goes on. Because ultimately, the most important thing in the world is to lead people to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can go to heaven sick, but you can't go to heaven unsaved. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? The most important thing is salvation. But it doesn't stop there. And some do stop there. But the covenant we have received <clears throat> because of the shedding of the blood of Jesus means it's salvation, healing, deliverance. That, that all of these things are full wholeness to uh, the person that's there is available through the covenant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Through this agreement we have with God through his son Jesus signed in his very own blood. 
Jesus said at the final Passover meal, this is the blood of the new covenant, which is given for you. Now, of course, at that point, he hadn't shed his blood. He hadn't been crucified. But it was the night before as he gathered with his friends to celebrate it, the final Passover meal that he would celebrate with them. Talking about his upcoming crucifixion only a few hours later the next morning at nine o'clock. So be confident in the gospel message. <clears throat> the Bible says signs and wonders follow the preaching of the gospel. So as you begin to share about Jesus, share about his love, tell stories about what he's done for you and your family. The presence of God will come. The Holy Spirit it will manifest and you'll begin uh, to see God doing things. I've seen this so, so many times. Hello to Carolyn there. Look, Carolyn Gerrals and Navin Kumar as well. Look, in India, God bless you. Um, oh, did I say, say Paul? Yeah, I think I've done Paul as well. God bless you. So be confident today that your story is what that person needs to hear. See, God will, he's always working to bring people across our path and that you would be the right person for that person to speak to. You know, sometimes in Christianity, I've noticed as well, there's a bit of celebrity Christianity thing where the latest gangster has gotten saved or pop star or fo football player or, I don't know, millionaire or something. And they'll lord this person around. But actually, most people in the world are not pop stars, millionaires or gangsters. And your story, which you may think is fairly, quote, normal, might be just the thing they need to hear. Because they're a quote normal regular person, they haven't been a gangster chopping people up with an axe. They haven't been a bank robber. They haven't been a movie star. They haven't been a billionaire. Do you know what I mean? A regular people with ordinary lives, as it were. And they want to eat meat. I think one of the great things people want is authenticity. They just want to meet somebody genuine. And when you come in the love and the power of God and you're genuine, I tell you what, you'll cut through all of that stuff. All the things that seem to be in the way. People say, do you know what? Yeah, pray for me. Now, I can't tell you the amount of times that's happened with me in my life. You know, I mean, I've. But you, you do have to be um, mission minded. <clears throat> Excuse me. You, you do have to be mission minded. I be thinking about those things and active in those things because you can choose not to or forget to, can't you? But everywhere you, you go, I mean, as I said, I'm in the park and ride at the moment. OK, um, and if you don't know what that is, basically you drive your car to this location. There's a lot of parking spaces and then you get on a bus to go into the city. So they have less traffic in the city. I mean, that, that that's kind of what the park and ride is. So I'm just parked here. Um, hello Tracy God bless you there she is look Tracy Campbell up on the screen God bless you Tracy um, so look for those opportunities where and give the spirit of God something to work with start a regular conversation with people compliment them um, this type of thing you know if they're eating something that looks nice say cool that looks nice where did you get that and they might say, oh, yeah, this is the shop up the road. It's fantastic. So, oh, I like those. Is it spicy? And you know, just a little chat like that. So, and then before you know, you can say, oh, uh, you know, actually anything exciting today? You know, you, you just ask people questions and be friendly. Smile. I mean, I've been out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've been out some evangelism things uh, with people. And you've got people standing like this. Looking like that, I think you are not going to attract anybody to Jesus with a face like a bag of spanners. Come on, smile for goodness sake. You know, look like you're alive. <laughs> oh, I won't say too much about that, but I've, oh man, some of the stuff I've been around, I've seen, I'm like, so I met one person was sort of hiding this coat like this, and they're all, you can even see their face, and they're standing there like a robot, and it's like, you've got to say hello to people, you know what I mean? Come on. Especially the British people. Come on, wake up. Not so bad. Some of you, I mean, lots of you on here are actually from different parts of the world. There's not many British people on here, actually, but at the moment. But, you know, let's be a bit, just be friendly. Just say hello to people. And you'll be surprised how far that can go and how much you can see them touched by God. Well, OK. So. If you want prayer today for any reason, just type it on the screen and we'll pray for you. And if not, I'll pray a general prayer for everybody. 
um but it's good to be back and see you all again i will be coming back um doing lots more programs and things like that i've been very busy um with the ministry off air uh doing various different things so um you know just give it a moment for people to uh put a prayer up if they want just pouring myself a nice cup of coffee here with my flask mm. Oh, lovely. I've been to Costa Coffee, actually, at the petrol station, bought a coffee, then tipped it into the flask to keep it hot, and then I can tip it out and have it when I want, you see? How about that? Mm. Very important in Evangeline, coffee. Okay, so... Um, well, at least to me, anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, don't you? Okay, well, there's no prayer requests come on the screen. So anyway, I'm going to pray. Lord, I pray for everyone watching the program today, whether you're watching live right now or in fact, you're watching the replay and welcome to you. If you have been watching the replay, we're going to pray right now. And I am ask everybody watching the program live now to join with me in prayer for you. So we're going to pray right now because we've seen many miracles over the years as God has touched people either on a live program. Or, or watching a recording people get healed just as easily watching a recording as they do watching the live program believe it or not they really do um so father god uh, in the name of jesus i pray for every single person watching this program today and i come into agreement with them whatever their needs are right now i pray in the name of Jesus Christ, and Lord, I loose that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of God touch you right where you are, my dear friend. Let that anointing, let the presence of God, the power of God, in the name of Jesus, touch every person watching this program right now, live or on the recording, whether you watch it now or in five years' time, I speak breakthrough over your life in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord i pray that demonic bondage would break off of people right now in the name of jesus lord touch the people right now in jesus name in jesus name sickness go in jesus name anxiety fear pain go right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke arthritis in the name of Jesus. Come out of that person right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak healing to somebody's liver as well in Jesus' name. Someone's got a liver problem. I think they call it spots on the liver or something. I think that's what I was hearing, spots on the liver or spotting on the liver. In the name of Jesus Christ right now, be touched by the power of God in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord may strength return to that one watching the program right now may hope come into your heart right now from the lord jesus christ right now may hope come to you may strength come to you may peace come to you hallelujah oh hallelujah god bless you right now I speak the blessing of God over you today in the name of Jesus. Let's all pray for Hannah Ma. She says, um, pray for me, can't sleep. Prayer for a good night's sleep and protection at work. We lift up Hannah Ma. We, Lord, we ask for a breakthrough in this situation, for her sleeping to be normalized and for her to be able to sleep properly in Jesus' name. And whatever this thing at work is in the name of Jesus, somebody bothering her at work. Lord, we rebuke that in Jesus name and we speak peace into Hannah's situation at work there. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Carolyn says she needs to sleep as well. Carolyn Geralt in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch her right there. On the other side of the Atlantic, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now. Lord, loose your power. But Carolyn, right now, be touched by the power of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name. 
in Jesus' name. And everybody around the world says yes and amen, agreeing with me. For Carolyn, for Hannah Mar, anybody else, Sarah Towers, anyone we prayed for this morning, we come into agreement together as a group of believers and loose the power of God. We've got Paul there, look. He's asking for prayer for his home situation. So we pray for Paul and his home situation right now. Lord, we ask that your presence, your power, your fire would come into that situation for Paul Diamond right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch that situation and touch Paul right now. Bring peace into that situation, I pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Right now, in Jesus' name, everybody just pray for Paul and his situation. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that your arm is not too short, that you cannot reach into these situations of everybody's lives. Now, what do you know today? Your life is important to God. Every single one of you, personally, individually. You're not just a number. You're not just a, you know, just an a part of the, the sea of humanity that's not seen by the Lord. No, no, no. He knows you all personally. He knows who you are. He knows every detail about your situation and is concerned about it and is interested. Never think that God's not interested in you because that's not true. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Carolyn says she still feels touched by God there. In, oh, I forget now. Is it California or Canada? I, I, I forget now. One of those two. Something like that. America or Canada. That might narrows it down a bit. But uh, amen. God bless you, Hannah Mar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Touching your people. California. Yeah, that's it. I got it right for once. Uh, there, California. I, I thought it was. I just went <clears throat> blank for a bit, Karen. I haven't been on for a while. So, God bless you all, wherever you are around the world. Hold that in your heart today. Jesus loves you. And it's not just a cliche you get on a Christian bookmark or something. Do you know what I mean? No, no, this is real. He loves you so much, so much that he shed his blood and he died for you on that rugged cross. Amen. That's the truth of Jesus. Sometimes people say, does God love me? You look to the cross and see him there dying in agony as your substitute, taking your punishment. Amen. Then you realize he loves you with an everlasting love. Bless you, Sarah. Have a good day at work, Sarah. Good to see you, sister. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I, tell you, I feel his presence here, the Holy Spirit. Bless each one. Wash over your people there today. Oh, look, there's Noreen. Hello, Noreen. Noreen Berry in Chippenham. God bless you. And there's Kate as well. Look. God bless you, Kate. Good to see you too. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve a mighty God. We serve a loving God. He's very much concerned with that every detail of our life. Amen. God bless you all. Great to see you all. Don't forget to share the broadcast. And I'll be back again soon. Good to see you all. You take care. Oh, Kate says, I won a grievance claim at work yesterday. Well done to you, Kate. Praise God. That's good news. Excellent. Well done, Kate. Take care, folks. Good to see you. Don't forget to share the broadcast. and I'll see you again. The comment section, of course, remains live. If you've got further prayer requests, you can put them in there. and I'll pray for them as I sit here and drink coffee in the park and ride. All right. God bless you. God bless you, Richard. Good to see you too. God bless you. Bye-bye.